Hey, please wait. Don't go yet. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please, you are watching. There's a video that I wanted to show right now. The prophecy for 2023. Very important prophecy. It's something you cannot miss. It's very important. If you are a child of God or you want to make it to heaven and you want a good life for this year, because this year is a dangerous year. You need to hear this message. Don't just go. Don't fast forward it. Listen from the beginning to the end. And when you finish listening, subscribe and press notification button. God bless you. Apostle Peter Daniel speaking to you. Bye. Bless you. Bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel by the special grace of God. You are watching me in the same place, heaven and hell life program. Uh, today, by the grace of God, we are going to speak and talk on the, the prophecy for 2023. As I've told you before, for those who are on the washa, that uh, today I'm going to speak on that. So the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's a serious message anyway. And... Uh, I will advise you to put your ear into what the Lord is saying to the church. Now, let's pray. Our everlasting Father, we want to bless your holy name because you are the fullness in all glory. We bless you because you are the ancient of days. With that glorified in Jesus' name. As you are starting, you start with us. Destroy all the works of the darkness be our God. Deliver us from all evils. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, today, we are going to speak, as I've said before, on what the Lord has for us in 2023. I know many of you are wondering why I'm not on social media for some times. I have not been showing up on YouTube for more than one month now. And uh, I did not attend to people too on WhatsApp. Neither did I talk to anyone on Facebook. All this why I was in the camp of the Lord, waiting in his present, seeking his face concerning his plan for us and to god be the glory he gave me the prophecy and he spoke to me widely and these are the prophecy the lord said something to me the first thing the lord spoke to me was the issue of the camp, for those who have been watching me before on what I have announced in the, in the YouTube and everywhere that there's, the Lord said we should come to the camp, the prayer camp. The Lord said to me that the camp that we are in there shall be called the school of heaven. He said, that camp shall be called the school of heaven and shall also be called the holy city, the city of the holy saint. And he said something to me. My own plan was totally different. My plan is just to come to the camp. Those who are come there is the end and I will not allow anyone to come in again. And then we begin to train those who are there and we wait for Jesus Christ to come and take us home. But he told me that that was not how he wanted to be. He said the camp shall be a camp of heaven, whereby the whole world, the old believer, the believers in the world will come, will be trained, will be schooled on how to live a holy life and a heavenly life, and they shall make heaven. And he also said to me that he also want the people 
that those who come to this camp to the camp see on the camp that he wanted to use them to bring out the revival of the end he said he wanted to bring use them to bring out the revival of this end time how god also said to me by prophecy that all what is prophet all what the servant his own servant has been saying that is going to happen that they are all true I don't know who he was referring to, but I believe that this might be the people who are end time preachers who are on the social medias. Same prophecy, probably three days, night that people were talking about. I don't know. Uh, prophecy of what is to happen or whatsoever. So the Lord said to me that all these things that the prophesies on, on his rot on people, on the world that will take place on the three days, night that they are all truth and that some of them have already started happening that some that most that is supposed to all of them supposed to happen at a time as at the time of last year but he said mercy speak on that that is what he said he said mercy speak on that and uh, And he said, he's giving another another chance to the people just as the time of the Noah. That is how he said it. He said, he's giving another chance to people just as the time of Noah. He now explained to me, he said, I should go to the book of Noah, the, the book of uh, Genesis, and look at the story of Noah. That it takes 500 years for the prophecy to come to pass. He said the intention of God at that time was not for 100 years. He was to make it come on time. But because of his mercy, who was speaking, that that is why it takes on for 500 years. To the extent that people began to doubt and believe that it was not true, Noah was saying, until destruction caught them unaware. He now said the same thing also happened that mercy speak out and he also told me that there are some people who are eating somewhere seeking for his mercy on that and he had their prayers but he said this time around yes he is giving another chance now to people that's what he said he said there are some people who were hiding somewhere praying for mercy that these prophecies should be averted for now he said he heard their prayer and the message speak out on that and god says this to me he said my son i tell you if i is to if i if i have to bring if i to bring the calamity to the people none will be saved but the very few god is telling me in that place is that he said, if he's to allow the calamity to happen to the people, is a let a saint that was still that is still in the world will not be saved. He, he now told me, he said, even the people that he has chosen that are in camp, they are not yet prepared enough. That that is one of the reasons why the host of heaven decided to show mercy and give another chance for people. God said he want all the Christians in the world to gather in one place just as he has gathered all the Israelites in one place. Meaning all the people who ask camp must come and be in the heavenly school called the city of the saint. What God is saying here is this, that he want all the believers in the old world. We are not talking about people who are carnal believers. We need we meet people who are expecting rapture, who are heavenly candidates, to be in one place, in the place he called the heavenly school, and where he called the city of the saint, according to the scripture in Revelations. He said that he want them all to be in one place, 
that he wants everyone, whether you are in one camp or the other, or you are you are preparing for this or that, or you are called to be. He said he wants them to be in one camp, just as the way he has gathered the Israelite, and he keep on he keep on gathering Israelite whenever they divide it. He said that he wants them to be in one place. The Lord said, some will be martyrs, and some will be saved. The Lord said it again to me that if calamity is to happen, his children will not survive it. The Lord said it that some will be martyrs and uh, some will be saved, which means it is not everyone can be in this holy city. If you are not in this holy city, it means you are meant to be martyred. If you are not in the holy city in one way or the other, it means you are meant to be martyrs. If you are martyr for Christ, you will still make heaven. And if you are in this holy city, you will still make heaven. But he said that, that anyone outside the camp will be martyred. That there will not be way of escape for them. There will not be way of escape for them. No matter what, no matter how they pray, no matter how they do it, there will not be way of escape. Outside the camp, you are called a martyr. So that is what the Lord said to me. The Lord told me that there is a need of gathering of the same before the tribulation and rapture or else. No, no one will make heaven because they are entangled with the things of the world. And many are in the camp of the devil, which will disqualify them. The Lord said the reason why the camp is there is because at the present time now, with the way the world is now, all the Christians, wherever they are in the world, they are entangled with the world and they are entangled with the sin. That there is no way they can say they want to live holy life, that it can be as it wanted to be. And there is no way they will not be disqualified. They will not be disqualified. So he said that that is why everyone must be in this holy city. He called it the city of the, uh, the, 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 the city of the holy saint, which is the school of heaven. They have to be trained. They have to be trained and they have to be disciplined to make heaven. That or else they will be disqualified because they are all entangled. With the things of the world, the phone they are using is part of Satan's instrument. Some of them is their husband, some of them is their children, some of them is their boss, some of them is the environment they have, some of them is the family, whatsoever like that, like that, that is heaven has prepared all this to entangle the, 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 the child of God and to take them to hell. <laughs> the Lord said that. The believer of the Lord Jesus must be extraordinarily careful because the devil has sent more of his angels to deceive them and to plant the unseriousness inside them. That, but they tell them, my son, that I will help them. The Lord said this: that the devil has sent his angels. When he was telling me this, the Lord opened my eyes to see this kind of angels, and I can I find out that this angel that the devil sent are the fallen angels, not just the demons, not just the little demon that is attacking the Christians, but the fallen angels is the one that he has sent. And these fallen angels are, can transform to be, to be angels of life. They have the ability to transform to look like Jesus Christ. They have the ability to transform to, to, to many things. He said the devil has sent them out to the Christian, to the believers, to the elect. And the reason why they are to the elect, they are not going to the carnal one because they already know that the carnal Christians are meant for the for uh, for, for for hell. They are the they, they are air candidates. They are sent to the elect. And the reason why they are sent to the elect and how they recognize the elect is because the elect are already marked. So they recognize the elect ones by the mark on their forehead. That God have already marked them by their forehead. So they are all attacking them in every area, in their dream, and also planting on seriousness, which means that some people will hear this, but the spirit of his unseriousness will enter them, and they will not be serious on, about it until the destructions fall upon them. 
and they begin to regret. But God said to me, he said, tell them I will help them to overcome this. The Lord said to me that the cup of my rod is full and many nations of the world shall cry like a baby. The Lord said to me, he said the cup of his rod has been full. He said the cup of his rod is full that is going to pour his rod on the on the world economic economy will fail hunger will be everywhere this these things will be for everyone outside the camp whether you are christian whether you are prepared ahead or you are not prepared ahead once you are not in this holy camp these things will befall you all that is what the lord said, said to me here so in that point i was even trying to be sit you know to intercede to intercede and to tell him but he said the reason he has made this is for the savior for the salvation of those people who are not matthias the lord said that satan has finished his plan on the earth god said it if not for him who is stopping him, the world will have been destroyed by now. The Lord said to me that all the plans of the devils have been paid. When he showed me, when he was telling me this, he also showed me. He also showed me, I saw the plans of the devil. I could see every single plan of the devil. And all the plans of the devils were shown to me. Every area has been planned. In fact, I was so surprised. Every area, the devil has planned it all. He has planned the destructions that there will not be way of escape for anyone. Even the, the city of the saints that we are talking about, God is going to be the one to surround that camp to protect them. Or else, they will also partake it. But because he has chosen it, he wanted to protect them himself. He has planned it all. He has planned. If you say you want to enter inside bush, Satan will come there. The plan he planned, they will come to there. You enter inside the rock, inside rock, they will cut you there. Except the Lord himself surround the camp he has chosen. According to what I saw and what he showed to me, there's no way you can enter. If you dig the ground and you go inside the ground and stay inside the ground, they will cut you. Even though you, there's no way you can escape. According to what I saw, he said he has planned it all to destroy the world and also to, to destroy the, the believers. But he said, only those who will obey and hearken to his voice will be saved. The Lord said, the Lord said, but now it is time, time to allow the devil to carry out his plan because the prophecy must come to pass. The Lord said, I should tell you that he has owed the devil enough that but now it is time to allow the devil to carry out his plan against the people he said it is time to carry out his plan against the people because the prophecy must come to pass the lord said he can't wait anymore he is coming to take his children out of this corrupt world he told me when he tell me this, he tell me with seriousness. He said he can't wait any longer. Again, that he's coming to take his children out of this world or out of this corrupt world. He said he can't wait any longer to wait. The Lord also said, he is open a chance. This is how he's speaking to me. He said, he's open a chance for all the L candidates. Christians who thinks by praying or by prophesying can make heaven. Tell them that my standard cannot change. I am the Lord of the old times, part religion, old time part religions. Holiness will take you to hell. Holiness is all I required. The Lord said, the Lord qualified the Kana Christians as a air candidate Christians, air candidate Christians. That is how he mentioned it to me. So, because I asked him that, we did is he fine to air candidate Christian? He told me the one the people who believed 
those people who are following the pastor who are prophesying who are speaking the pastor who is preaching about how to pray how to live how to do this and that he said you cannot enter heaven just by praying or by prophesying or by studying or by preaching the word of god the only way that can make you to make heaven is by holiness and righteousness which means if you are still type of people who believes that within your year that is doing attachment or natural year within your natural year or using your ring or using attachment or using worldly clothes or using mini skirt or using trousers or wearing uh, uh whatsoever wearing longer uh longer uh, high heel whatsoever it means any kind of the, the worldly things if you are part of them the lord said i should tell you that you should forget ever that you are already marked just as the way he marked his people as an elect of rap or elect of heaven the devil too has marked his own people too as an elect of hell for that reason he said he's giving them chance for repentance if they can repent he said he will mark them and also shows them and bring them to be among his people god said as you tell anyone that can obey this commandment in holiness to put his self at rest that he will help them to get to heaven the lord said if you can just obey this single instruction of holiness that he will help you and he will take you to heaven that the rest eh uh, sir i'm going in debt i'm going this i do this or i the little little one he said he will help you to get out of them that the only thing is asking you now is to live a holy life the rest of them is said as i tell you he will help you to overcome them all the lord said school work business is of no use again every christians and believers are to come and prepare for him who so ever disobey this shall be destroyed with the world the lord said as we tell the earth everyone that school you going to school sending your children to school to this world this school uh working going to work and fetch out money building your part particular your personal house having business he said is of no use that all what is required everyone to do now is to come to this holy camp he said is to come to this holy camp he said is to come there and nothing else to go and prepare for him he said he wants the preparations to be preparing for him that is all he requires and he said anyone that disobey this irrespective of whatsoever you say you saw or whatsoever you saw you, you see or whatsoever you think you have in plan for yourself he said they will be destroyed with the world the lord said whoever loves his father or mother or children more than him shall be removed from the cat from from the heavenly saint and shall have his or part in hell the lord said he's checking your heart he's checking your heart anyone who loves his husband his wife his children his, his his parent or whatsoever and because of that you are having reasons of not following god he said he's going to remove his sin from your head and he's going to uh remove the sin from your head and that means you are on your way to hell tell them that i am angry with the church now because they have spoiled my house the lord said i should tell you that he's angry with the church because they have spoiled his house now this message is for all the holiness churches tell all the holiness churches that i am not happy with them because they kept preaching my word but he refuses to return back to me for further and more instructions so they are ignorant of my plan and my purpose they shall be punished and beaten much for their disobedience and neglect so the lord said as we tell all the holiness churches in the world that many of them are not carried out it just as jesus christ is going on the path they are going forward than god they refuses to go back to him and retreat to hear his voice to listen to what he asks for the world for 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 the church 
Then he said, tell them, tell all the Christians, the believers, the only Christians, the only holiness Christians, that I want them to be in one place and in one camp. I don't want divisions. He said this, that he don't want divisions, that everyone is to be in one place. And these are other further instructions that he has given me before. He said, I should tell everyone that they should be preparing for serious persecutions this time around. There will be no right for any Christian to say their mind any longer. When you try to say your mind, you will be punished by the laws, by the government. When you try to get way against them, they will send you into jail for that. That this time, this year, will be a year of no freedom. No freedom at all. When you are doing right thing, they will charge you for that and send you to prison. Whether you are doing the right things on your own mind, whether it is rightful in the eyes of the government or not, they will punish you with it. The Lord said, I should tell the Christian that uh, that there will be financial crisis. There will be financial crisis everywhere in every country. Everything will come to increase. Everything will come to increase. And the Lord said to me that I should tell you that this year that is going to expose false prophet, it will expose them all. But he said, the more you expose them, the more people will love them. And this is so sad. He said, he will expose them, but the more you expose them, the more people will rush to them. Because they are already in the bondage. And people love the darkness than the light. And the Lord said, I should tell you all that in this time around, you will be hearing ministers' death. And this mostly will be those who are double, double, uh, double way ministers that is going to visit them with death and sickness. And the Lord said, I should tell you all that any disobedience Christians to the voice who he has given shall be punished much. And he said he will leave them completely for they have made the Holy Spirit angry. He said, I should tell you that you should summon yourself, open and have a clean year of obedience, or else you will have your part in hell. This is the information, this is the prophecy and the revelation he gave me for this year, for the people. He said to me that I should tell you that danger is coming. Danger is coming. Danger is coming. He only said he, he has so mercy for the last year. He did this. He said he, has, he, is, he said he's the one that owed the devil from what is happening. That they, the Christians should not have a doubting mind about any prophecy that was given. He said they should not have any doubting mind about the prophecy that was given. When God gave me this prophecy, for the first time in my life, I have been serving God. I've been having encounters. I have never seen what happened to me. That day, same day God gave me the prophecy. The Satan himself, he called me by phone, physically. In my life, I have never even heard it in history that the devil will call somebody and talk to the person physically. He spoke with me with anger. But I'm not going there today. I will make a video on that one. It was a serious matter. And after that, I've been seeing a serious battle on that. After, immediately after the prophecy God gave me, I saw the devil summon a great meeting on that. And after the summer, I prayed and he called me physically. With the identity of him, Lucifer. But I'm not going there now. I will tell you that. Just to show you that what God has said to you and his plan is not a joke. Don't play and don't joke about it. 
share this message everywhere you go in your phone post it on facebook let the people hear it let the people hear it it's a message it's a warning it's an instruction of god it's an instruction of god and it's not something you can just do with let people hear it let people share it in your youtube channel share it for free in everywhere share it share it on facebook share it on instagram share it on whatsapp share it on youtube share it everywhere to talk share it there share it everywhere the lord will bless you and will save us from the calamity that is coming he said he is going to release and allow the devil to carry on his plan now that he has to because the prophecy must come to pass please prepare for this year you might be surprised that this year will be more dangerous than the any year ever the lord will be with you in jesus name let's pray our lord and our god we want to bless your holy name because you are faithful in all situations the lord says i should tell you all to always pray for all children pray for your children any anybody you know that you your family pray for them that the devil wanted to take away children this year everlasting father we want to bless your name because you are faithful in all situation you are god you are god you are god gaba sote para balia basco pedia basonda pa ete pero mana masconde puria basaraba etiapa kubara the lord said i should tell you please so sorry as i'm praying the lord was giving me prophecy the lord said i should tell you that you should not trust anyone this include your family. This include anybody. If your husband is a worldly man, don't trust him. He said, people will be used as ritual much this year. He said, people will be used. Even when you are entering a car, to go and board a car, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Even when you go to market to buy food, over it with the blood of Jesus. Even when somebody asks you for money, for help, sanctified force before giving it out. He said Christians are to be very careful. Not only Christians, everyone. And he said all kind of Christians, you will hear their death because they will be a victim on this matter. Let's pray. Oh God, our Father, Thank you for the message of today. Be glorified and be exalted in Jesus' name. We ask you, O Lord God, to help us to carry out this prophecy and these plans you have for us. Help us to carry it out. Help us to carry it out. Help us to obey you. Help us to be saved. Help us and save us from the calamity that is coming to the world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. My name will remain Apostle Peter Daniel. Go to my YouTube and go and search it. You see Apostle Peter Daniel. There are other messages that was there. Subscribe to that channel and share notifications and share it. Press the notification button so that I can hear more. I am resuming back right now to YouTube and to the Zoom. God bless you. Shalom. Bye-bye.